This video is about the size and time scales of the universe that we'll cover in the course and about the process we've used to figure out how things work, the process called the scientific method. In the lecture outline in the student guide, the vocabulary terms are given right below the astronomy notes reading assignment. Here, the first two are for the size and time scales. The astronomical unit is the yardstick we use for the solar system, and the light year is the yardstick we use for the stars and galaxies. Note how much bigger is the light year than an astronomical unit. Our solar system is tiny compared to interstellar distances. The second set of terms is for the scientific method part of the lecture. Below the vocabulary terms is the actual outline for the lecture. This picture shows where the first seven planets would be if you were to put the size scale model from the Astronomy Notes Chapter 1 onto the BC main campus at Panorama Drive. The four inner planets are all right next to the Math Science Building that houses the planetarium. Let's go on the solar system walk and see part of the campus. We'll go down these stairs to find A yellow ball at the foot of the stairs at the end of the sidewalk next to the huddle's patio. The sun is represented by this beat-up yellow Nerf basketball 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters across. Walking to Mars's position at the light pole, each meter-long step is 8.4 million kilometers. Earth is at the second tree from the end of the sidewalk. And we have to walk a ways to the sixth tree from the end, nearly at the end of the original science engineering building, to get to Jupiter. And we continue walking almost twice as far as Jupiter's distance to get to Saturn, in the middle of the perpendicular sidewalk, this side of the Center for Student Success building. We pass by the new Science and Engineering building on the right. Looking back at the sun, it's hard to see it at the far end of the sidewalk. This was pretty much the end of the solar system before more distant planets were found with telescopes. To get to Uranus, we'll have to walk through this breezeway, to a point more than twice as far as Saturn is from the Sun. At the north end of the Center for Student Success is the entrance to the Jerry Ludicky Learning Center in which you'll find the Tutoring Center, Supplemental Instruction Office, Math Lab, Writing Center, Academic Development Classes, and Education Department Faculty Offices. We're going to walk to just this side of the Get Bus building. We pass by the Humanities building. And Uranus would be inside the big circle. Neptune would be way beyond the bluff edge on the other side of Panorama Drive. Dwarf planet Pluto is in the middle of the oil fields. From this end of campus looking back south toward the stadium, you see the business building on the right with the Norm Levin Center for the Humanities. Many really interesting seminars, talks, and panel discussions take place in there. There's a nice patio for enjoying a lunch. The sun ball is too small for us to see it easily, but the real sun would still be the brightest star in the Uranus sky. We're going to walk to this side of the Center for Student Success and take a look down this sidewalk to see the business building closest to us on the right. Just beyond that is the old administration building, now the Welcome Center, and in the distance behind the grove of trees is the Grace Van Dyke Bird Library, in which you'll find the Computer Commons, Media Center, Study Rooms, Reference Librarians, the Keys to Quizzes at the Circulation Desk, and the Book Stacks. Another look at the entrance to the Jerry Ludicky Learning Center that has the Tutoring Center and other academic support services. And from here we can just make out the yellow ball sun at the other end of the sidewalk. Another scale model I want you to memorize is the one where Pluto's orbit is shrunk down to the size of a quarter. 
The next star system, Alpha Centauri, would be 80 meters away, where a meter is about one big step. On the BC campus, that would be the distance between the center of the planetarium and the forum building. If our solar system is a quarter, then the Milky Way would cover most of the western U.S., stretching from Los Angeles to Pierre, South Dakota. Imagine how many planetary system quarters you could fit in the western U.S. Planetary systems are tiny in comparison to galaxies. Here's the cosmic calendar from the first chapter in the Astronomy Notes textbook, where the entire 14 billion year history of the universe is compressed down to a single year on our calendar. Our solar system doesn't form until about two-thirds of the way through the year in September, and modern humans aren't coming onto the scene until the last few minutes of the cosmic calendar year. We have not been around that long at all. Here's another timescale model. If you put the 14 billion year history of the universe onto the solar system model paced out on the BC campus, with the start of the expansion at the sun, and today, right now, at Uranus, then each meter, big step, equals 41 million years. The solar system forms 59 meters beyond Saturn, or 4.6 billion years ago. Life began about 79 meters beyond Saturn, or 3.8 billion years ago. All of the past 10,000 years of human history would be within the width of a human hair. We have not been around that long at all. 